Hello guys and welcome in the second episode. Today we will create our project and start implementing the game Steam. So open the Unity, press new, I will set the project name flag, flag challenge, set the template to, to 2D, I will set the location for my project and then press create project. Let's first check if uh, all of the tools are set correctly inside the editor. So go to the edit menu, preferences, and then external tools. Inside the external script editor, I have set Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition. You can, uh, you can probably use the mono development as well, but I decided to use this one. And then scroll down and make sure the SDK, JDK and NDK is set correctly. You have all of the tools uh, installed. If you don't, you can check uh, my other tutorial uh, where I explain how to install them and go through the process of uh, downloading them and then setting up everything for the Android. I will put the link in the description. Okay, once everything is ready, you can close this window. Okay, let's create uh, this folder structure. Uh, right click on the asset folder, then create new folder. I will name it resources. Okay, inside this folder I will create another folder called prefabs. Okay, then uh, right click on the asset folder again and we need the folder called scripts. I think that, sh that should be enough for now. Uh, then let's open the scene folder and rename our sample scene. Just right click on it and then rename. I will name it game scene. Game scene, enter. Okay, then I go to the file and then save scene. Right, the first thing we will do is um, go to the game tab and we will set our aspect ratio. Uh, for now, um, as you can see, I don't have a much much of a choice. I will add another aspect ratio for my game. So click this small plus button, and then you need to set the width and the height for for the aspect ratio for your camera. So I will put the 180 on 920, and then press click, press OK. Okay, you can set the name for this aspect ratio if you like. Um, all right. Then our camera frame has changed now. So the next thing we will need to do, um, go to the scene uh, tab and then click on the main camera. Make sure the camera is set to orthographic. I will set the size of the camera to be 2.5. And then near plan will be 0 0.01. And the depth minus 2.29. Okay, uh, let's save everything to save scene. Let's add the flag prefab now to the, to the project. Uh, right click, create empty. I will call this game object, country, country flag. Okay, we we'll, uh, we'll need to add a few components to this object. So the first component we will need is the sprite renderer. Sprite renderer. Another one is the rigid body. Make sure you just select the rigid body 2D as this is going to be 2D object. And then last component is going to be box collider. Box collider 2D. Okay. So uh, we will also need a script for this, uh, for this prefab. So let's add it straight away. Just click on the script folder, right click, create, C sharp script. I will call it flag. Okay, then I click on the country flag and then drag and drop this script onto the game object. Okay, make sure it's added. So now, actually to create a pre prefab from this game object, I will uh, go to the resources prefab and then just drag and drop this game object into the prefab folder. So we're creating the prefab now. So now you see our game object country flag has changed its color. So that means this is the prefab. Okay, 
To add another country flag, as we need three of them, we just simply drag and drop this prefab into the into the hierarchy. So we have the three prefabs for the country flags. So this, the, they're gonna be displayed like one next to another. So any modification we we will do in this country flag gonna affect all of these three three prefabs straight away. Uh, okay, let's uh, quickly add another another component to our to our scene, which is the canvas. This is gonna be used for the for the all of the UI elements. So right click UI and then select canvas. In the canvas, change the render mode from the screen space to the screen space camera. Okay, then we need to select the render camera. I will drag and drop the main camera into this render camera. So our canvas will be the same size as the camera frame, which is the as aspect ratio, as we set it here. So that's fine. <clears throat> as you see, we have the same width and the height for the canvas. Okay, um, I will also change the, the, the background color for the, for the main camera. Just click on the main camera and then background. I will paste the code here. So you can use the same code for the hexadecimal value as me to have the same color or you can set, set totally different color. I, I really like this background so I will stick with it. But it's com completely up to you. For our country flag, we can't see it straight away uh, because um, there is nothing to display it. So clicked inside the prefab folder, clicked in the country flag, and then click on this on this uh, on this cube in the corner here. And then I will set, for example, this this bit. Okay, so we will we will have some some kind of the representation of the where the where the actually prefab is so i will just move this position the first the first country flag will be on the position minus 92 okay and that's going to be 90 Right, so the next one, the second one, will be on the position zero, zero point eight, and then ninety. The the first one will be on the zero point eight as well. So they all will be in the same line, and the third one will be on the position. 0 0.9 0 0.8 and then 90 okay so as you see we have our country flags in so there is really nothing to display because we don't have a graphic yet but just for the time being we can click on the in the prefab folder on this country flag prefab and send the, uh, set the default sprite. So if you, in the sprite rendering component, you can click this small dot and select, for example, knob. Okay, and then when you go, when you go to, the, to the game tab, you will see these three dots. You can even resize it, rescale it. So as you see, the using prefab is very, is very comfortable because I can make modification, one modification which affect three elements inside the scene without modifying them. So that's uh, this is really actually useful. So I will set the scale for to five. Okay, let's see how this one looks like. Yeah, that's. I think the scale might be even th four or three. Maybe three. Okay. So yeah, we have our representation for our flux. And we have our canvas as well. So let's save the scene. There is uh, one more thing which I want to add, uh, which is the the text text for the for currently selected uh, selected flags 
So under the canvas, right click on it and then select the UI text and then we can leave it like a new text here. So we will set this uh, text to be on position 2 minus 126 0 okay and then uh, the width will be 330 and the height will be 80 then the font size will be 35 so we can clearly see it uh, and then I will set the color to black uh, I will set adjust it in the middle so let's see how it looks like I think the text is too small still so I will increase the font size you see, if we make the text bigger than the bounding box which we set here the text won't be rendered so make sure you are just increasing the bounding box as well okay I will set 500 for it and the height will be 200 so we can so we can modify the font size so I think that sh that should be that should be fine. So yeah, we have um, we have our text and we have our flags in. So th in this in this text we will be displaying the the requested country from certain continent, and then the player will have to click on the correct flag, which will be chosen randomly. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. In the next episode. We will start implementing our country flags. I will provide you with uh, the country graphics in, so we'll be able to actually implement the logic how you how you selecting the random random flag. And um, later on, we will be implementing the data structure as well to hold all of the all of the results from the game, and uh, as well as the country name and the flag for it. So stay tuned. Uh, if you like this episode, please uh, consider subscribing and leave the like. And if you have any suggestion, just please leave the comments below. I will try to help you if you have any problem. So thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next episode.